Our top story tonight, the FDA is granting emergency use authorization for a third dose of Pfizer's COVID vaccine for certain people. It would be for people 65 and older and those at high risk of severe disease. It would also be for people whose jobs put them at high risk, like healthcare workers, teachers, grocery workers, and those in homeless shelters or prisons. It's now up to the CDC. A little over half of all eligible Americans are fully vaccinated against COVID-19, but Health officials continue to sound the alarm on the impact of the Delta variant in hotspots across the country. Chris Wynn explains what the president plans to do next. As the White House tries to convince more Americans to get vaccinated against COVID-19, President Biden announced a new plan Wednesday to send 500 million additional doses to developing countries next year. And we need to do our part. Governments, the private sector, civil society, leaders, philanthropists. The total U.S. commitment now at 1.1 billion doses being donated to other nations. This is an all hands on deck crisis. And the good news is we know how to beat this pandemic. Vaccines, public health measures and collective action. But many wonder how long it will take for hospitals here at home to start feeling some relief. Doctors and nurses across the country are being pushed to the brink as they struggle to handle the latest surge in COVID-19 cases. Overwhelmed hospitals now rationing care due to limited ICU capacity. As this disease spreads, right, it spreads throughout the entire community. It's more likely to catch those more vulnerable people when there's high numbers of unvaccinated there. Nearly 90,000 people nationwide are hospitalized with the virus, according to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. More than 2,000 new deaths are being reported daily, the most since winter. We are not out of the woods, and I fully expect case counts to go up again across the country over the weeks and months to come. The Delta variant playing a key role in driving up the numbers. In Washington, I'm Chris Wynn reporting. Local doctors are concerned about a twindemic, people sick from COVID and the flu. Last year, flu cases were way down as people stayed home and wore masks in public. With COVID still a big deal, though, doctors at the University of Kansas Health System are watching the situation closely. I think we are always concerned about that if there is an increase in cases or a surge in influenza season this year compared to last year, what that will look like uh, when people have co-infection with COVID-19 and influenza as well. Doctors strongly recommend adults and children older than six months get a flu shot before the end of October. New tonight, Douglas County commissioners are voting to extend an indoor mask mandate for young children through December 22nd. Children ages 2 to 11 must wear a mask when inside a public space in Douglas County. A city council committee is voting to extend Kansas City, Missouri's mask mandate to October 7th. It was set to run out one week from Saturday. The director of the city's health department says case numbers began to fall after a second mask mandate went into effect in early August. But the city isn't out of the woods yet. A full city council vote on this is set for tomorrow afternoon. Keep it here for updates on the pandemic from mask mandates to where to get the vaccine to the latest on boosters. It's all at KNBC.com or on our KNBC 9 News 